Hi, I'm Niall Heaney from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today I want to show you around a 2006 Four Winds 248 Vista Cruiser. This boat is fitted with a Volvo Penta CAD 32 diesel stern drive on a dual prop drive. It's run 290 hours from new and it is in fantastic condition throughout. It's a stock boat, so we're selling it with a full three month warranty, um, so you can buy a complete peace of mind. It's a four berth sports cruiser, comes complete with the trailer that you see it on, and with a diesel engine, it means that it's got fantastic uh, economy and, and reliability. What we're gonna do now is take a detailed look through the boat. We're gonna show you all the features on board, um, show you exactly the condition that this one's in, and help you to figure out whether this could be the boat for you. The first thing you notice about this boat is the richness of the look. It's a really stunning looking boat. It's got a very deep blue colour band. We've got colour coded uh, pinstriping both above and below the rub rail. There's lots of chrome offsetting that, that colour scheme as well. So we've got this chrome rub rail insert. We've got chrome badges, four winds badges, chrome surrounds on the port, port lights here and things. And it's a really striking looking boat. Um, it's also quite a powerful sort of stance. It, it sort of mimics the classic American powerboat look, um, but at the same time it crams lots of space into the hull. It's a, it's a proper sports cruiser, it's got four berths, uh, two separate cabins and separate heads compartment downstairs. So I think it's a, it's a credit to the designers that they've done such a great job in the exterior whilst making the most of the, the interior volume of the boat. And this one is in virtually pristine condition. We'll take a walk down along the side here to show you, but I mean it looks this could easily pass for a for a year old, two year old boat. A guy actually walked into the showroom there a few days ago and thought it was brand new, so I mean, it shows you how, how good this one looks. Um, but coming down along the, uh, the port side here, the blue colour band's in perfect condition, the rub rail's perfect, all the stainless steel hardware is in great shape. There are a couple of sort of historic scratches that have been filled here, and it, now it's a really good job, a really smooth repair, but it's, just, it's notoriously difficult to match gel coat colours. So the, the, the fill is slightly lighter than the underlying gel coat colour. We've got a few, a couple up here, and we've got one little one back here, and that's it. I mean, if I didn't point these out, even on, if you were walking around the boat, you would probably struggle to spot those. Uh, but apart from that, everything else, the graphics, the pinstriping, it's perfect. The boat's had a fresh coat of white anti foiling paint as well, so that's just been done this week, so it's ready to go to the water for the season. All the, all the cleats are in great shape. There's no stress cracking anywhere around any of the gel around the boat, no chips, no chunks out of it. All the little chrome uh, fittings and the three hole fittings are perfect as well. Right down to the four wind lives here, the engine room vent, um, it's all in excellent shape. Taking a look at the port side of the boat then, it's even better. Again, extremely striking looking and there's not a single mark or defect I have to point out. Taking a walk down along here. You can see that everything is absolutely pristine. Beautiful mirror finish to the gel coat. The stripes are pristine. Uh, cleats, hardware, VHF RL, fuel filler cap. Even all the chrome has a really nice deep lustrous shine to it. Uh, coming right the way back to the stern of the boat. It's, uh, it really is in perfect shape. It's a beautiful looking boat. Taking a look at the stern of the boat. Um, it's got an extended swim platform. It's a, Great size, the full width of the boat, it's probably two feet uh, deep. It's in absolutely perfect condition. Again, this is, I always say it, that the corners of these sports cruisers are very susceptible to, uh, to damage whenever you're berthing the boat and things. The corners in this one, both on the actual hull itself and the swim platform, pristine. Absolutely perfect condition. Um, great shine to it. The whole thing looks fantastic back here. We've got an integrated, integrated uh, four step, these four wings always have these really deep border ladders, so we've got a four step uh, stainless steel, or sorry, anodized or powder coated aluminium border ladder, stores below the, the recess panel on the swim platform. Um, taking a look up above here then, we've got a transom locker, we've got a hot and cold uh, transom shower, call it transom shower, and we've got a a marina water hookup if you want to run the boat off mains water of the marina. So everything is in, uh, is in perfect condition back here. This boat came into us from a freshwater lake here in Ireland. And as far as we know, certainly the, current, the, the previous owner only used it in freshwater. He had the boat for four, maybe uh, three or four years. Before that, it was, it was from freshwater as well. So we think it spent the majority of its life in freshwater. It certainly looks that way whenever you're taking a look 
below the waterline here. All the uh, stainless steel hardware on the, on the transom from the swim platform supports to the U-bolts and the transom, the trim tabs and the drive itself is all beautifully uh, corrosion free. No rust stains or anything, it all looks really good. As I said, this boat's fitted with a Volvo Penta CAD 32, uh, 170 horsepower uh, engine that's matched up to this dual prop stern drive. So we've got twin counter rotating stainless steel props on a single shaft. So it transfers the power to the water much better. Gets the boat up on plane quickly. Um, it makes really good use of that 170 horsepower and the boat does go surprisingly well. Um, gets on plane quick. We've got these integrated trim tabs. You can drop those down. It helps the boat get on plane at lower speeds. And if you've got a heavier load on board, it also can control the running, uh, the lean angle whenever you're running in a crosswind and stuff. So, um, and everything's in great condition. The, the, the boat, uh, the, the engine and drive have just been uh, fully serviced by ourselves. So brand new oils, filters, all that sort of stuff. And mechanically though, that it's in perfect shape. And this is all covered by our comprehensive three month warranty as well. So you can, you, as I said, you can buy with complete Peace of mind. Bellows, seals, trim rams, cylinders, everything's in perfect shape here. So coming into the cockpit from the swim platform, we've got a little split fold in gate here, transom gate, and all in good condition. So you can close that, keep pets and kids and stuff inside the cockpit. And then uh, the first thing you notice, this, this cockpit is dominated by this big wraparound lounger here at the, uh, at the aft end. It's a great layout on a boat like this. It really does make uh, most of the available space because um, the benefit of it is that all the, the, the sort of through traffic through the boat from the swim platform up to the helm, down into the cabin, all sort of comes up and down this uh, the port side here. And it keeps the starboard side of the cockpit um, for, for dedicated seating. So this is a big lounger, particularly on a boat like this. Um, it'll easily accommodate five adults around a central cockpit table. We're going to set the table up and show you the, the pictures. It's a beautiful uh, teak table, a uh, solid wood table that the previous owner had made for the boat. Really sets the, the, the whole cockpit off nicely. Um, the upholstery and everything's lovely. These are low set seats, um, so they're comfortable to sit in, high backs and things, beautifully upholstered backrests and stuff like that. We've got contrast and stitch in there. Um, it all looks the part. Um, and then moving further forward, we've got a huge big twin wide but you could probably fit three people on it helm seat um, it's elevated there's one step to get up to that so um, that sort of contributes to the looks the exterior looks of the boat but it also means it's a very command and helm position you get a great view all around the boat over the tops of the, your, the, your passengers and, the, and behind as well so you get great visibility there and then as I said we've got this offset uh, cabin access door here on the port side so um, I really like the layout I think it does do a great job of using the space that having the, the walkway offset to one side means you don't have to just, you know as people move around the boat you're not having to get people up off seats or disturb things um, it's uh, just a more practical sort of layout in terms of the condition of everything in the cockpit it really is again it's top-notch um, I mean it's, uh, we're extremely fussy about the the boats that we take on as our own personal stock boats First of all, because we know the standards that our buyers like to see in these boats. And secondly, because we have to stand over them with a three month warranty. So we do not take on stuff that's, that's sort of scrappy or have been abused in any way. And this one definitely ticked all the boxes for me. It's really, really nice condition. It's only 290 hours in the clock, so it hasn't seen a whole lot of use. And it's been well looked after, and you can tell that looking around the cockpit here. The, the upholstery is in perfect condition, bar one tiny little, little nick here. But we're gonna we're gonna tidy that up, just improve that for you. Uh, but it, I mean that is literally it in terms of any defects I have to point out here in the cockpit. The helm seat's perfect. Flip up bolsters working really well. All the, this uh, upholstered panel in here uh, down the down the port side, it's all in beautiful condition. The windscreen surround, all the canvas clips and poppers. The boat comes with a full set of camper covers as well as a tonneau cover, and they're all in excellent shape as well. Um, all the hinges, clips, catches, carpets. Everything's in, in fantastic shape here. I just want to point out a couple of sort of neat features in and around the cockpit as well. It mightn't be immediately obvious. Um, first of all, is we've got these little cockpit lights. So there's three of them dotted around the cockpit. There's one here, there's one in underneath the, the seats there, and there's one up the, the, the helmsman's feet. They give the boat a lovely sort of soft glow after dark, and they're all working perfectly. We've got a big integrated cool box here on the port side complete with elastics and wee clips to keep it in place. Our battery isolator switch is well located just in here behind the cabin access door um, and you don't have to open any hatches to get in at that. It's, it's 
just exactly where he'd want it so you remember to turn it off every time you leave the boat. We've got storage in here, um, good big storage locker that runs up the long length of this here. It's, it's lined and drains overboard as well, so if you're putting anything, you know, liquids, drinks and stuff in there and they spill, it's no big deal. And it's all working, all the catches and hinges are working really well. We've got stainless steel cup holders around the back of this, the seat lounger here, so two up here. We've got two here as well. Um, we've little molded non-skid panels on the top of the, the, the gunnels there, so you can hop off and on the side of the boat. And uh, we've also got a little, you probably can't see it, but we've got a little window down into the aft cabin here as well, so it just gives a bit of added natural light and ventilation down in there. So just, there's lots of sort of neat little design touches all the way around. The carpets are marine grade, snap out, so you can lift them. It's a molded fiberglass deck underneath, so it's easy to hose the boat down. Uh, and as I said, the boat comes complete with full covers. We've got tonneau cover, in great condition, a full set of camper covers, which is the proper camper back, so the, the full head height goes to the very back end of the cockpit. There's a vertical transom, or transom curtain, so it comes down vertically at the back, so you don't lose any headroom around the seat lounger here. Um, and they're in very, very good condition as well. I think that the, the previous owner told us, I think he had them replaced maybe a year or two ago, so they're, they're in great shape as well. As I said, this is a, a very commanding sort of helm position. Because you, you're on the elevated seat, um, it's the highest point in the boat, so you've got clear visibility out over the bow. The bow tapers away as well, so you get great visibility even whenever you're sitting down at the helm here. And you're looking over the tops of your passengers' heads at the, at the stern as well, so you get great visibility all the way around. Um, the helm itself is really well appointed. It's a lovely sort of walnut effect uh, finish on the dash and on the steering wheel. The steering wheel itself has a five position tilt adjust on it. Um, we've got a full range of marine instrumentation, faria gauges including, uh, we've got a digital depth gauge. So I'll just turn this on quickly to show you the hours. So we've got 290.5 hours on the clock. Um, all the instruments are working, fuel gauge, volts, uh, taco, speedo, uh, oil pressure, temperature and trim. This boat's also fitted with Garmin GPS map 551 chart plotter, so it's a 5 inch uh, chart plotter preloaded with all the charts for the UK and Ireland. It's in perfect working order. Um, in terms of our switch gear, we've got blower motor, bilge pump, horn, uh, wiper, cockpit lights and navigation lights. We've also got controls for our trim tabs on the stern, port and starboard trim tabs. We've got a VHF radio here, a Cobra DSC VHF radio, which is in perfect working order as well. Um, and then we've got a throttle shift lever, falls easily to hand here, and we've got a little bit of a cushioned armrest as well. So um, everything is in perfect working order. As I said, it's all covered by our, our three month warranty as well. So again, you can buy with, uh, with complete peace of mind. The helm seat itself, it's huge, it's massively big, you know, it's more, more than big enough for two people. As I said, you could probably fit three up here. Um, this, the helmsman's side, has a flip up bolster, so you can sit, look over the top of the windscreen. Just gives you better visibility if you're um, pulling a water toy with a boat or if you're coming in alongside the berth. Um, a couple of other features I want to point out then are the fuse box down below the helm here. So if a circuit pops or anything, you, you don't have to go hunting through the boat for your fu fuse box, everything's in there. We've got storage underneath the, uh, both sides of this seat as well, big storage bins, so you can get all your uh, knickknacks in out of the way. We've got two cup holders here up at the helm as well, so one for the helmsman, one for the passenger. Um, this boat, it's retrofitted with like a little iPhone holder, so a lot of people are now using their iPhones and these navigation apps uh, for uh, navigating the lakes and things, so pretty sure that's what the previous owner used that for. So. That's a neat little thing to have. Um, there's also a, a, a little, there's plenty of room up here for a chart table. There was a Perspex screen fitted here, but it was starting to get a bit crazed and cracked and stuff, so we're gonna replace that. We just don't have it ready right now, but there'll be a new clear Perspex screen that hinges down just to hold your, your paper chart in place. Um, we've got a big Danforth compass up there. Um, we've got a 12 volt power outlet. Just everything you need. It's well appointed helm and uh, it's all in great condition and everything's working perfectly here. Access out onto the foredeck is through these uh, three molded in steps in the centre of the dash and through this open and windscreen section. Um, we've got a nice broad flat foredeck out there, it's all molded non-skid. We've got access up to the anchor rock at the front, there's a high guard rail around it as well so you can 
you know, throw some tiles down there, use it as a sun, sun pad. And the, the access in and out is actually pretty safe. It's another benefit of these. I always, I like the offset uh, cabin uh, entry because one of the benefits is you get a nice wide area here in the middle of the dash to walk out onto the foredeck. And if you come back in, it's not like on, on the other boats when it's in the center, it's, it's usually forms part of the cabin door. And the danger is you go out onto the foredeck, somebody opens up the cabin door, go downstairs, you come back in and the, the door's open. And worst case scenario, you can fall down, but, but the best case scenario, you have to go to the trouble of trying to climb around it and close the thing. So that you don't have that, this is permanently in position here. So that's really good. All the, uh, this, the windscreen, as I said, it's all in great shape. All the little catches are working well, the hinges are all good, all the seals and stuff, and the support bars are all in perfect condition. Access into the cabin is through this offset uh, door. So we've got a top slider, it slides back out of the way, and then we've got this uh, hinged door. You'll also notice there is a screen door here as well, so you can, if you want, if you're out on a better day or whatever, you can keep the, uh, the screen closed, keep any insects out. But, um, it opens up completely as well and they clip together. We've got this little clip here to keep the door open. Again, all these little catches and clips are all in perfect condition. They're all working really well. And then it's a nice wide door down in here. Once you get down into the cabin then, it's a great cabin. It's very well appointed, very high level of fit and finish. Again, Four Winds are one of those premium American builders that really do sort of take their fit and finish and quality materials up a notch from the entry level brands and this, this one's no exception. Um, in terms of the layout, you got two, three steps down into the cabin. Um, that offset door means that you sort of get, somehow you seem to end up with more room down here. Um, so if somebody's standing at the galley, they're not over, you know, they're not totally restricting flow throughout the rest of the cabin. We've got a big galley unit there on the port side as you come down. We've got the, your standard V-berth, um, dinette arrangement here at the front of the, the, the cabin and then we've got a big aft cabin there um, just on, beside underneath the, uh, the cockpit as well along with a dedicated heads compartment. So it's a good layout, good access into the aft cabin, great size galley and, and lots of room up here for sitting four adults around the table. The dinette area is um, very well appointed, very comfortable seating, we've got a beautiful wood table here um, at night time you can drop the table, these, these two cushions on the port and starboard side, they pull off and, and make, uh, fill in the, uh, the centerpiece, so you make this into full double berth. We've got storage in behind the seat backs, we've also got this big shelf here which is unusual, you don't find this in all these Entry Devil Sports Cruisers, so with lots of storage space in the shelves on the port and starboard side. We've got an open uh, deck hatch overhead, we've got two open and port lights as well for a bit of natural light and ventilation and uh, everything's in, in great condition. Lots of little down lighters around here for, for a nice soft light. There's also indirect lights if you notice them up behind the shelves here. So you can turn on just the indirect lights instead of the, uh, the, full, the full cabin lighting. So that's a nice touch after dark. If you've got kids on board you can have those on like a little night light. Um, so, and everything's in, in perfect working order. The condition in here is beautiful. We are going to get the uh, this, this cushions, they're, they're all removable, the seat covers, so the, the cushion covers. So we're going to take those off and have them dry cleaned before the boat goes to our new owner. Um, but the, the condition of these is great. There's no tears or rips or anything. The table's in beautiful shape. All the carpets are great. And another fantastic feature actually, which is unusual in these boats, is that the carpet is removable. And we've got a proper fiberglass molded deck underneath. So on virtually all of these entry level, you know, bayliners, maxims, all that sort of thing, the, the carpets are, are glued down in the cabin. Whilst it's not that big a deal, it can be a bit of a nuisance. If they get dirty, it's a bit of a nuisance to, to replace them or to, to try and get them cleaned. The beauty of this is you can take the carpets out, you can power wash them, you can have them dry cleaned, whatever. And you've got a fiberglass deck there underneath. Or if you know that, you know, the kids are water skiing or in and out of the water and the, the carpets are going to get dirty, then you can lift them and throw them in the back cabin and just uh, just walk around on the, the fiberglass deck. So that's a great little touch. So the galley has a um, solid surface countertop, big sink with a cover to it, hot and cold running water. We've got a single burner alcohol or electric uh, stove. Got a microwave here whenever, for whatever you plugged in the shore power. We've got a dual voltage refrigerator. Again, this is one of those galleys that looks like it's virtually never been used. A lot of these, a lot of these galleys, 
seldom see much much in the way of uh, cooking on these boats and this one is the same it's virtually like, like new we've got a big uh, cupboard here above the counter we've got lots of storage space up here that's with a nice recessed shelf so everything's gonna you know there's probably about a two or two inch lip on that so anything you put up there is gonna stay up there we've got the mosquito screen for the forward hatch up there at the moment and then we've got a little fold out shelf as well here so it's on a uh, on a heavy duty hinge there so that just extends your your countertop a little bit so if you're preparing food here making sandwiches or whatever you fold that up and you just get a bit more room there um, and there's also actually a big storage bin underneath that we see secret compartment um, little recessed shelf in here we've got our uh, shore power switch panel and stereo head unit live in this cupboard here I'll put pictures of this up on the on the page at the very bottom of the page all our lights switches and things are there so it's a very it's a compact helm but they cram lots of lots of stuff into it lots of neat wee design features we've got a useful socket here as well along with a 12 volt socket too so if you're charging phones or laptops you can set them up on the shelf there and again just behind the the galley there's well there's a little light in underneath here and we've also got an opening porthole there as well so you can get a wee bit of air flowing through if you are preparing food down here so again condition wise it's completely perfect really really nice so the heads compartment then is on the starboard side as you come down the stairs into the cabin and it's a great size as well we've got this integrated uh, mirror full length mirror on the back of the door and we've got another huge mirror above the uh, above the sink in there as well but the fit and finish i mean even the surround all these other boats these mirrors are just glued on they're just glued on the back stuck onto the door lots of them i've seen have fallen off broken shattered you know if you're going across a heavy you know out in heavier weather or whatever the fact that this has been properly recessed in and fitted with a nice surround as is the one above the sink it's little clues like this that, that just demonstrate the build quality in, the, in, in a boat of uh, this type so it is well definitely well put together this boat the heads compartment itself is a good size we've got a, a marine grade toilet there um, we've got an open and port light the sink with hot and cold running water, the tap lifts up to form your shower head, goes up there. This is the big uh, mirror unit I was talking about. Um, we've got a little switch for lights and the toilet pumps and stuff. Um, we've got an, a little uh, power outlet here, so if you need to run a shaver, you can do. Um, storage for our, your toilet roll and then just a, a little bit of storage down low there. The whole compartment is obviously lined and drained. There's a shower curtain to screen off the door but in addition to that we've also got this little rubber seal around the door. I mean even this is unusual on these American sports boats and the door itself is it comes up to like a sensible height. It's six inches above the level of the floor. Again other ones you, you tend to find them they're quite close to the the floor of the the the, uh, the heads compartment and if you get any quantity of water in there at all it starts leaking into the cabin so I mean the fact that Four Winds have thought about all these little things just makes the difference makes it a much more enjoyable boat to live with so with the cabin door offset to the port side you do get a sort of wider entryway into the aft cabin um, it's a full width uh, double berth in here Stands across pretty much the full width of the boat. The two overhead reading lights up there at the, uh, the head of the bed. We've got this little opening vent that I showed you out in the cockpit. And we've got storage then down at the foot of the bed. We've also got two more little storage compartments just as you make your way into the cabin here. There's a little hanging locker in here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and it's all, again, it's in beautiful condition. Everything's bone dry. The headline is in great condition. The... The cushions, the upholstery, the carpeting, the little curtain, there's a little curtain here to screen that off from the rest of the cabin. It's all in great shape. And if you are in there, or if you've got kids in there, because you've got this centrally located opening, um, feels much more open plan than your than your typical aft cabin, and it's uh, you, should, you, know, you should have no problem getting a good night's sleep in there. To get access into the engine bay, just you have to take out the back seat and remove this, this panel uh, from over the top of the engine. And it gives you good access. You can also, for, for additional service work, you can also remove this panel. It gives you lots of access all the way around the engine. But this is sufficient for all your sort of routine checks, checking your fluid levels and stuff like that. The engine itself is, uh, the whole engine, but actually is in very good condition. As I said, we think this boat has done mostly fresh water use from you. It's fitted with this CAD 32 compressor engine. So it's a turbocharged and supercharged unit. So it's uh, very good with, you know, lots of low down, grunt low down torque to get the boat up on the plane quickly um, 
and it, uh, it pushes it on to around about sort of 30, 35 miles an hour, which is plenty in a boat like this. Um, it's also very fuel efficient, very easy to run, and very reliable as well. It's a um, mechanical fuel pump. There's not too much in the way of fancy electronics to go wrong in the boat. Um, it's just tried and tested, proven technology. And it's, a, as I said, it's in beautiful condition. All the pulleys in the front of the engine are in really good shape. The bilges are nice and clean. Um, you can see we've got our chlorifier down here for giving the boat hot water. That will heat either from shore power whenever you're plugged in the shore power or whenever the engine's running as well. That'll heat the uh, heat the fresh water on board. So that's a great thing. You know, out, you can be out for a day's run about in the boat. And whenever you come back in, say you've been swimming and stuff, you can have a hot shower in the uh, in the heads compartment downstairs. We've got a twin battery set up there. Battery charger. It's all in really good condition. Um, we've got. Reservoir for trim tab fluid level. We've got a big fuel pre filter holding tank. We've got our fresh water pump down here. Everything's labeled. All the pipes are clipped neatly. Um, all the cable runs are uh, look very well organized. And the whole thing, as I said, paint finish in the engine's great. No corrosion anywhere around it. Um, it's all in fantastic shape. And you have the added benefit that this one's coming with a with a full three month warranty. We're going to stand over it for fully for three months, to cover the entire season, so you can buy with complete peace of mind. complete with this uh, twin axle trailer. Now it's a U US spec trailer. Um, it's in very good condition. It's powder coated and it's completely corrosion free. You might notice that the, the top edges are starting to fade a little bit. That's literally just the colour fading out of the powder coat in certain places but it's, it's not uh, compromised. The finish isn't compromised in any way. It's completely corrosion free. Now it's a US trailer um, but it's fantastic for launching and recovering the boat. It just gives you opens up lots more opportunities or options in terms of wintering your boat ashore and it means you don't have to be paying high marina fees to lift the boat in and out of the water and stuff like that so 
I know people always like to get these boats on trailers just because it does give you a lot more flexibility. This one is coming complete with that trailer, so uh, and it's a, it's a very good condition. Wheelbarrows and everything. So there you have it, that's our 2006 Four Winds 248 Vista. Um, it's a beautiful sports cruiser, I think. It's a really striking looking boat. Very rich lines, a beautiful deep blue uh, colour scheme to it. And I really like the, the layout in here. This big wraparound lounger, the offset access into the cabin door. There's lots of really neat design touches right the way throughout. And there's been lots of sort of nice upgrades too by previous owners, like this solid teak table and stuff. Um, so it's a, it's a high end boat. Definitely one of the better US brands and this one is in fantastic shape. You can also buy with complete confidence because we're offering it with our full three month warranty. Cover everything, the engine drive, the, the entire boat and as I said we're extremely fussy about the boats that we, that we take into stock ourselves. So this one meets all of our requirements so I'm sure you'll be delighted with her too. It's also diesel so you know it's definitely that's the the power of choice in, in this size of boat everybody loves diesel because it's easy to get on the water it's fuel efficient it's reliable um, and this one has uh, has great power you see from the water test footage it, it does run really well this boat surprisingly well actually indeed and um, I think it's a, it's a great all-round package it comes with a full set of camper covers tonneau cover you check out the pictures below to see uh, the, uh, the covers in position on the boat um, and it really has everything you need to just to, to go to the water. If you'd like to have a chat about it, if you want to come and see the boat or if you want to arrange a sea trial and please don't hesitate to get in touch with me, just drop me a, an email or give me a call or if you fill out the callback request form on this page of our website I will contact you at a time that's convenient. Thank you very much for watching.